like where would you say are the are the current uh, status quo established mainstream ways of of writing writing and publishing and editing an article uh well uh, i mean uh, fortunately or unfortunately i don't have too much practical experience with how uh so-called real journalists do their job because uh i'm 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 a very unusual journalist and uh a lot of the processes that traditional journalists use are frustrating and counterproductive to me in terms of the what I think the ultimate goals of journalism are. But as far as I understand it, the standard practice is that you have a journalist or writer who writes up, uh, does research, hopefully does research before they start writing. And then they write a draft of an article and then they put that into some kind of content management system, um, either their own or at a media organization. Then it gets looked over by editors at some point. Uh, the editor makes suggestions for changes. They go back and include those. And eventually, at some point, it gets signed off on by whoever uh, makes the decisions about what gets published. Uh, it goes out for publication, and you get you know the very classic format of so-and-so wrote this title, article done. Um, sometimes you will get updates if they make mistakes and care about fixing them. So you'll get a little like italicized text at the bottom or the top saying, you know, here's something we got wrong or here's an important update. Um, but the thing that's always frustrated me, especially when that happens where it's not clear that changes were made after the fact, um, it frustrates me when, you know, an article gets published and there are some major errors in it and they kind of just get fixed silently and you don't know who did them or what the reason is or really unless someone's archived the original that there was any evidence of the mistakes being made in the first place. Um, and so my model for journalism is not only, uh, I mean, it's again, it's not too foreign of a concept to people who are already developers because open source software is now developed this way a lot where, you know, someone can publish some code, but if they do it in a Git repository and it's online, uh, then you can, can have other people making pull requests on that code uh, to suggest changes. And also when you have things like GitHub, it's very easy to see who contributed what code. Um, I mean, it's, you can see that in general, but GitHub kind of makes it a kind of social network experience. And so I just, I've always appreciated the fact that I can always see who's introduced what changes and it's very transparent. And I wish more of that transparency would be in journalism. And thankfully there have been a few examples of media organizations doing this to a degree. Um, for example, the markup. Uh, does a lot of their pieces where they have a very extensive credit section and they actually say, well, here's the journalist or journalists who wrote the article, but here's who did the data analysis that informed their, uh, their opinion. Um, here's someone who contributed the picture. Like they, they give credit to basically everyone involved in the piece. And I just feel like that's not only fair, but that's just being transparent. That's how journalism should be. Um, assuming, you know, everyone actually wants to be credited in the piece. Maybe some people don't want to, but I feel like most journalists, they don't get credited for work that they do. Um, and even worse, the people who should get credited um, uh, for maybe even introducing mistakes, uh, like editors, uh, in my experience, often do, um, they should be held responsible also for what they write. And so I wish it was the case that more journalism was written giving attribution to people who actually contribute the words that we read and make our decisions on.